All right, so you're asking, what exactly am I looking at right now? Uh, these are some edible oyster mushrooms that I grew off of old coffee grounds. Now they look, they don't look good. They're not done forming yet, and they're not the, the prettiest. And it's because I grew them in a glass jar. And you can see here where, like, um, other mushroom heads have tried to form and pop out. So it's uh, glass, you know, you really don't want to grow mushrooms in glass if they're going to be out in the light. But I did because it was my first time, and I couldn't resist peeking in to see the progress. So it's pretty easy to grow coffee grounds, or to grow mushrooms on coffee grounds like this. And I've got a, I got a whole corner here. Now here's, here's, the, here's an ongoing, this is, and I'm doing this from my home grounds. I just kind of, I, I'm experimenting with a couple different coffee sources. So here's a coffee from, uh, from my home coffee, from my home brewing. And you can see the white fuzz, the white mycelia are colonizing the coffee grounds. And I've also been collecting coffee grounds from the local coffee shop. And in five gallon buckets, I've been colonizing more. So we shall see. Maybe, uh, maybe, the, maybe growing in a five gallon bucket will be, will give me better looking mushrooms uh, than these scraggly sons of guns. But regardless, I think it's a worthwhile project to try. It's something you can do at home. You can just use the stem butts from oyster mushrooms you buy at the store. You can just Google it, like how to grow oyster mushrooms easy. And then you can just start growing tons of mushrooms. And then, so once this jar is a little more colonized, maybe today, I'm gonna mix it in with like a fresh five gallon bucket. Maybe I'll do that in a, maybe I'll do that soon and I'll videotape it. And then this, and this colony will then expand and, and expand into the five gallon bucket. So the way mushroom mycelium work is that they, they, they colonize whatever their edible substrate is, in this case it's coffee grounds, and they fully eat it, and then when they're done eating, they sprout mushrooms, and then the mushrooms sprout more spawn, and the spawn flies off into the air to find more substrate to eat. <clears throat> so this, this is clearly has been fully colonized. This, you can see there's a lot of coffee left. It's, it's cool, you can see how the, the coffee water drips to the bottom. Mushrooms don't eat toxins. Look at that coffee water down there. Um, they don't eat toxins. You can grow mushrooms on cigarette butts, and they won't absorb the toxins, so it's pretty magical. Mushrooms are, are the future of like healing our environment, healing our bodies, and healing our society. Um, so this is pretty cool. I'm doing some other cool stuff with coffee grounds and I will uh I will uh show you that in just a minute.